In this lecture, we will look at background processes that get started with PostgreSQL database server start. Let me log into my PostgreSQL environment. I have created this environment of PostgreSQL from source code. If you look at, there is nothing running from the Postgres user side here, which is related to database server. Even this command says no response at 5.4.3.2. There is nothing running at 5.4.3.2 port. Let me start the database server or a cluster. And if I run this command, it says it's accepting connections. Let's go ahead and look at the forest view of processes. At a high level, I have Postgres server process, which actually started by parent process ID one. This in turn started child processes here. You have a check pointer, you have a background writer, auto vacuum launcher, stats collector, logical replication launcher. Whenever any incoming connection comes, it will come and hit this server process. As I have written here, the client first hits Postgres server process. In our case, that is 86382. This will immediately fork one more child process and it runs in the background. So let me go ahead and open a new terminal and show you what I am talking about. Let me connect to SDB1 database. So the moment I am trying to connect to testdb1 database, this is like a client, psql is a client, it will hit this postgres server process, it would immediately fork a new child process that would be having this parent id as a parent process id. Let's go ahead and run the forest view once, 86382 now became a parent for 8604. Let me open one more. This time I am connecting to a Postgres database. If I run this forest view one more time, now you see one more child process forked from parent. You run ps aef forest it would show the postgres processes that are running if i make a note of the background processes that comes you have a first checkpoint it's a normal checkpoint the next one you have is a background writer here i would be covering only at a very high level I would be doing separate lecture on in detail explanation of these background processes for now just look at it high level. What is this background writer? Writing directly pages from shared buffers to disk. What is wall writer? Redo a transaction log buffer to logs on disk. Next one is auto vacuum launcher. This is for periodic vacuum process. Stats collector. Some basic uh, statistics information is collected. So some of the 
views which depend upon this is PG stats activity. It's a logical replication launcher. It's related to the replication. So these are all the client processes. Let me stop. Let me show you what happens from the background process time. Now, if you look at, you don't see any parent process ID one here. There is nothing started. There is no Postgres server process here. If I go ahead and start now, and if I run this forest view, now you can see from here, Postgres server process is now having 87050 process ID. That's it for this lecture.